Welcome, everybody, to the Inside Show. <laughs> we made it through another week. Here it is. It's uh, the 24th. We're in April, right? Wow. We're still in April? Still in April. 2014. <laughs> I don't know. It's good. Since I, when I turned, like, you know, 50, everything went, like, poof. So from 50 on, it's been like a blur. It's just one... <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> well, because I drink a lot. No, I'm kidding. Um, we have an interesting show for you, a great show for you tonight. We have uh, a comedian. And let's see, here's the script. We have somebody who was supposed to be here tonight. Hopefully she's going to make it. The, uh, her name is Jojo. Uh, Joanne Jojo, uh, the last name is? Persico. Uh, Persico. She is uh, at St. John's University. She is the coach for the women's volleyball. Excellent. I'm, I letting you, I'm letting him do as much, you know, from this, your, your script as possible. Nothing here. <laughs> it's all up here. <laughs> uh, our comedian, and uh, he's got me saying gagoots now. Because uh -oh. he wants to be known as gagoots. gagoots. But his, um, where is, it? well, let's see if we can find it. For my okay. sidekick. Is that my me. sidekick? This is uh, Russell. Craig, uh, Craig. Craig now. <laughs> Thank you. I got in trouble. I got yelled at. I got actually. He I got said it's man. my last Thursday, so we got to make this the best Thursday, right? <laughs> well, it's last Memorable. Thursday for now. And for uh, now. I'm sure he'll be back again anyway, doing some stuff. Uh, once you, you play here, once you work here, you never want to leave, so it's, uh, it's a great show. Is it Buddy Rizzuli? Is that who you're talking about? Buddy Rizzuti. Rizzuto. Rizzuti. 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 It's like right. the, trying to get me like say the baseball, but I don't know nothing about baseball or football or volleyball or anything like that. That's okay. What do you, what's your favorite? What do you, what do you know everything about? Nothing. <laughs> I'm an expert on nothing. I know everything there is to know about nothing. <laughs> well, you know territories, you know, like, uh, what, Howard Beach? Where was your territory that you used to cover? I worked in, well, I worked in, uh, uh, well, the last, uh, Part of my career was in the hundred in Rockaway. Oh, so I started in Rockaway and ended in Rockaway, and but I went all over the place. You know how to do to Rockaway? No, no. I don't know. I'm good at nothing. Lean back, no, <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Incidentally, I want to give some plug here because uh, we may have a sponsor coming up. We're hoping um, for Joe's uh, Seafood Shack. Uh, if I do a real good job and he does a real good job, maybe we can get him on here with sponsors. It would be really nice. We do take sponsors, guys. If you want to join up and become part of our, you'll see the commercials in a few minutes anyway. That's right. Well, Joe's Crab Shack is one of uh, our new clients. And uh, actually, we started working there on Tuesday night. And we're doing this coming Tuesday night as well and uh, raising funds for autism. And uh, it's very exciting because the whole place gets to sing and dance and have a great time and crack a whole bunch of sh shells and uh, <laughs> really wild, really good stuff. You got to check it out. And the drummer, actually, in uh, the group that you're going to hear later, which you're going to tell everybody yeah, about. Yeah, Logan's Room. Logan's Room. Yes? Wow. All right. All right. Hey, so we have, what? it's going to be off camera. It's going to be off, off the hook. It's going to be great. Yeah. Actually, I was going to say the drummer from Logan's Room actually is uh, someone who works very closely with the Joe's Crab Shack people as well. He works there as well, and he'll tell you more about it, and everybody's here. We where's actually... Your, where's your location? Uh, it's in Oceanside, 
in uh, beautiful Oceanside. Is that right Merrick here. Road over there? Or it's Long it? Beach Road, right Long near Beach. Long Beach, and it's very popular, and you've got to make reservations in the summertime. It's really well, great. we can come up with a phone number. We'll, we'll do that, too, and all that good stuff. Absolutely. Well, incidentally, you mentioned autism. April is, is month of, uh, it's for autism, the month right. of April. So uh, just a little information out there. We did have Edna on here, and we were mm -hmm. supposed to have her, her son come on and sing a song or two, which I really would like to yeah, do. Yeah, we still have to still have a few days before April's over. Yeah. And I'm really interested about this uh, volleyball. Oh, thing. she's phenomenal. She's a very special person. Uh, I love her to death. And, and everybody she, loves her. And she sings, too. Right? And she sings, too. That's how I got to meet her, because, again, the connection with King Yum uh, from St. John's University. Uh, the uh, women's volleyball team likes to come down and uh, enjoy uh, dinner, uh, just a little camaraderie or... Uh, um, they have success uh, dinners, you know, after they had a great uh, game. And this young lady is a great motivator and a very special person. And I'm really proud that uh, she's here with us tonight. I'm very excited about That's that. That's great. She'll be on in a few minutes. Actually, she can come on. Uh, we'll pan to her when the time comes. But um, uh, you mentioned King Yum. It's, well, we should be there Friday night, I think. I think Ellen and I are going to be there Friday night. Got some new things I want to do. Excellent. And uh, that's on the 181st, that is? 181st, the Union Turnpike. Union Turnpike. Pike. And that's a great time. Friday nights, uh, Russell uh, does the karaoke over there. He hosts the karaoke shows. And he's been there over 21 years, and he gets them all going. It'll it's be me 20, going. It'll be 22 years, July 11th. Wow, 22, 22 years. 22 years. We're so going to have a big party. It just goes so fast. We'll figure out where we're going to have the party. I'm not sure. Well, it's going to be a big party. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't we meet, why don't we meet her? Let's oh, that would be phenomenal. Commercial first? We got to go commercial first? Okay. Okay. That's a good well, idea. Well, we've been off camera. That was all I did. That's okay. We're off. happy to but it's okay. we can, we be can. involving we can everyone do today. That. We're going to have everyone involved today. All of our friends from all over the world are watching today, too. Really? What about yeah. your friends from Japan? Japan? And we got seven or eight people in Japan. We have a few Japan people watching? from Australia now. Really? Have they? Yeah. Well, a lot of people look for, uh, they, they actually, we look for very tall, athletic women, not only for myself, but for Jojo, who likes to scout around, and <laughs> she'll tell you all more about it as well. Can we go to Yeah, we're going to pan right to her. Hi, Jojo. How are you doing? Hi. Hi, Russell. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Hi. I, I, so, uh, I've been, I read this, and I'm saying, oh, and she sings, too. So, this, how long have you been doing this, this coaching thing? I've been the founder of the volleyball team at St. John since uh, 1994, so I think Russell and I actually started, he started at King Yum the same year I started at St. John's University. So we're going into our 22nd year, and uh, we've really um, been blessed because our volleyball team enjoys every year going to King Yum. <coughs> and, and if the ladies sing with Russell and then do a solo, they don't have to run three miles on the beach the next day. <laughs> 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 they just don't have to run anyway. So we, we give them a little incentive that night. Awesome. And it's, it's been a tradition for our team, and it's been a great, um, a great way to bond some of the girls. Because when, when we start in August, it's, I have a lot of new players every year. So it's a great way to form some camaraderie and some team spirit. And, and some of the new girls get to see. We, we do have some fun at the Division One level. So, and Russell's been a big part of that for years there. Well, it comes to 12 pretty ladies, I imagine Russell is over there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very talented. We always find the right songs. But the key element to that is JoJo sets the tone for the night. Because everybody wants to see. They don't realize that JoJo is lets it loose and gets everybody in the whole audience going crazy. So it's well, now, a side of me that they don't see. Now. Yes. I and mean, I, I've, I've seen you there, and now I can put that's it That's right. The yes. Oh, now you remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's well, a I mean, side of me that I think they don't see, because in the gym, you know, we have to be sort of disciplinarians, and I have to create the parameters in which for us to succeed. And I have 19 teenage women that their parents entrust, uh, entrust me with them. So. I think when we go to perform, they see a whole different side. So maybe that's part of my Gemini. I'm a, I'm a June baby, so I think I have the twins, the two sides. So. What is the age limits, uh, the ages of the... Of we, we begin, we begin um, recruiting the young ladies as early as eighth grade. I, I saw a, a great athlete in Honolulu that was only an eighth grader, but we can only bring them to our team uh, after their senior year in high school. So I'd say around 17 all the way up through age 23. I have they got picked up on the 
in colleges or? Well, yeah, because I coach them at, uh, I, I, I chose uh, the ones that play for me um, from all over the world. So I have them from uh, Bulgaria, Slovakia, oh, maybe California. Maybe somebody's watching. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They're all over the country. All over. Yeah, we're a very di diverse team. So, um, and Russell's been a big part of, of really making everybody love New York City. So when we go to King Yum, we feel as if that's so one of the best entertainment venues that New York City has to offer. He's put it together, yeah, he sure has. Well, do you remember me from there? I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she lies really good. No, you what's you not told to her remember? To okay. okay. She remember. She remembers. Speaking of which, we're going to start the song, show off with a song. So I'm going to show off with a song. That sounds great. And uh, we'll be back from now. We'll go to commercial and we'll have our comedian and... Uh, Later on, uh, we'll have you some singing and oh, stuff like that. And later on, we'll have Logan's Room. All which, right. Uh, is Are they allowed to cheer? Oh, sure. Logan's Room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is live TV, right? <laughs> so, all right. Let me buckle this up. Excellent. And here we go. So, are, we're, are we off camera now? Almost night selling, baby. Uh. Hey. Yes, you better slow your Mustang down. A Mustang selling, baby. Uh. Yes, you better slow your Mustang down. What? Yes, you will. Put your flat feet on the ground. All right, everybody, you can sing it with me. You all know the parts. Come on. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Say, ride, Sally, ride. Come on, you can sing it out. All you want to do is ride around, Sally.
Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and Ronkonkoma, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you.
All right, we made it back. Yeah. Right there in that, that little kitty right there. There you go. That's right. You can do that. <laughs> the lady reaction, but it's good. We're standing here with my new buddy. My new buddy. Buddy. Uh-oh. Benny. Okay. Benny. Do you know what Gugutz. my name is? Gugutz. Benny Gugutz. Squash in the ears. Gugutz. Rizzuti. Rizzuti. You guys were close I here. I said it. You both win Thank a business you. card. There you All go. All right. Yeah. Jojo. It's got my unlisted number on the back. Call me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this since uh, when, when, I, when I first started comedy. Rosie O'Donnell liked boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That was a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, a long time ago. Back in the 80s, I was doing it. I consider myself the longest running open micer. <laughs> and do you, do you perform a lot around here? Is it, I perform in the clubs around here, and I have... Uh, two big shows upcoming, two shows coming in uh, at the end of May, May 30th and 31st. And I have flyers I brought to show you. At a theater, I'm bringing a comedy into a theater at Saluna Studio. And uh, they, it's a theater that I rented to do comedy. I have a show with April Brucker, very talented ventriloquist, writer, and singer. She, used to, she wrote a book, uh, I Came, I Saw, I Sang. And uh, I have Rich DeMoss on the show, great show. And on Saturday night, I have the Benny Gagoots Comedy Hour. Well, Benny Gagoots Comedy Company. Wow, an hour. Thank you. No, it's a two-hour show. Oh, wow. So it's, uh, it's an hour. It's I'm a two-hour show. I don't know how to As call it. a comedian. It. I have the flyers here. Well, I don't know if you, you, get a, you get a shot of that. Yeah, we could get a shot of them. That's and awful, uh, it's a Luna Studio bit. in Hop Hog. And it's, if anybody's familiar with Old Willis Path, and there's a restaurant called, uh, called Butterfields. You'll find the restaurant before you find the theater. The restaurant is right next door. Excellent. Beautiful theater, great show. And I want to give a shout out. My buddy Stevie GB and John Consoli are doing shows this weekend at Saluna Studio Theater. And uh, they're doing uh, one-man shows tomorrow, two separate one-man shows. Big show on Saturday. And on Sunday, oh, my goodness. On Sunday afternoon, they have the uh, Legends of Comedy. And there's going to be uh, the Rodney Dangerfield, uh, Groucho Marx, Lucille Ball, uh, uh, Abbott and Costello. Here. I get the feeling Groucho he's going to be really funny. But my Groucho show, the Benny Gagoots Comedy you, Company. You, you might have to give a little sample to the audience. Benny before, Gagoots. Before they is come, this your first I would love to. Uh, yeah, this is actually my so first So you made TV. the big time. I finally made the big time. I'm happy. I oh, love it. Dear Madhouse Park. TV can't wait to see you. So we'll get out of your hair and let you do... Uh, your, your, your spot? You're going to get out of my hair? Well, get out of your way. A little too late for that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All well, right. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands one more time. Put your hands together for Benny, your boots, the Zuti. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. I just want to I wanna get one thing straight right off the bat. I want you to know that I'm not really losing my hair. I have a lousy barber. <laughs> Poor guy, too. Poor guy's look. He's losing it, the poor guy. And I hate to tell him, he's getting old, you know? Like, he's got a plant in between the two chairs, all right? We're, and I'm sitting there, and he's actually trimming the plant. And I'm saying, oh, cool, Yasha, no problem. Your hair looks great. I feel bad because we're all getting, I'm getting old, you know? I'm 58 years old, and getting old is no picnic. If, if you know, if it was, I would have turned 58 on my 10th birthday. <laughs> Thank you, JoJo. <laughs> but uh, my hearing's going. My hearing's going. A guy pulled up to me in his car. He said, am I in a coma? Am I in a coma? I said, what? He said, am I in Comac? <laughs> my son wasn't feeling that well. My wife said to me, he don't ground too good. Ground too good. I'm thinking to myself, what is ground too good? She said, sound too good. Get a hearing aid, my wife said. I said, why? So you can hear what I have to say to you, she said. I said, why? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad I made it to the show. I was in Brooklyn earlier this afternoon. I had to go pick up a couple of my relatives who were in the Sicilian parade. Maybe you saw them on the news. <laughs> Hope I don't pull my wire out. Wouldn't it be cool if they had a mafia fashion show? Wouldn't that be great? 
<laughs> this wrap line fitted jacket was originally designed by Vinnie Cardinal Pizza Lovelli. <laughs> and then the pullover polo, you ever notice the guy that's got the polo shirt, he pulls over, he's got one eye out. Ma, Ma, it's me, Luigi, Ma, bring a meatball hero. And bail money, bring a meatball hero, the food here stinks. Is there something wrong? Did I pull my wire out? Oh my god. Man, I'm a good Sicilian. I can't be wired for sound. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a good Sicilian. Can you hear me? Number nine. Number nine. Do you have uh, ventriloquist? The wire. Do you have ventriloquist? April Brucker doing ventriloquist with me. Okay. Turn the mic down. Can you hear me? All right. Okay. Um, as I told you, being a Sicilian, I can't... Uh, I'm a good Sicilian because I can't, be, I can't wear a wire. I just can't. Uh, there's an old Sicilian saying, you can't pick your family unless they're in a lineup. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I was so nervous before. I wanted to wear a tie. I was going to wear my Jerry Garcia tie. But I was so nervous I smoked it before I got here. <laughs> before I go, I told you I was in Brooklyn. I want to tell you, I... I really, I wouldn't be in Brooklyn today because I still have no sense of direction. I've been driving for 40 years and I still, they built a GPS for guys like me and I got to eventually get one. First time I ever went to Brooklyn for a party, right, I was like 17, 18, I said to my uncles, how do I get home from here? My one uncle said, no problem, I'm going to make you a map. A map to an Italian is everything on the kitchen table. This napkin hold is your car. Picks up this, this salt shaker is the Belt Parkway. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to take the Belt Parkway east. Now my other uncles, they start chiming in. My uncles, they got butter knives that they're using for pointers. And they're using them on the white cloth, table cloth. And they're like, Benny, you wanna go over here? Benny, Benny, turn over here. And they go, no, no, Benny, you wanna go here? And they use it, they put a cannoli over here. Benny, don't remember, don't forget, you wanna make a left, a right, and then you go to the exit on the 86. And, I'm getting so confused, I got all this stuff out, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm getting this thought, what if I wind up getting lost and I go up to a police officer and I say, excuse me, officer, I missed the fork. He says, there's no fork in the road around here. I said, no, the salad fork, the one next to the stale cannoli. <laughs> so my uncles, they sense the confusion in my face. So they say, Benny, we got this idea, we're gonna get into one car, we lead you to the eggs. And before that, my uncle said, Here's your baby cousin Josephine. He put her on the end of the table. He said, this is a Veranzano bridge. If you go that way, you ain't going to Long Island. I got news for you. They said, Maron, this kid, when is the last time we changed the diaper? This kid smells like Staten Island. So my <laughs> uncles, they come out with this idea now. They're going to get into one car. They're going to lead me to the exit. So six of my uncles cram into an IROC Z, and they lead me to the exit, and they start beeping and waving, and I'm beeping and waving as I went over the Veranzano Bridge. And let me tell you, Staten Island don't smell like no baby. Anyway, I make fun of Italians, but uh, they have a great sense of direction. Take Christopher Columbus. He discovered America. He was looking for India. His navigator was one of my ancestors. This is napkin holders of the Santa Maria. This salt chick is India. You're going to want to take the Bell Parkway. <laughs> You're a great audience. I love it. I love Mad TV. Thank you for letting me on Mad TV. Thank you so much. Hey, you Mr. welcome. Mr. Gagoots. How about that, everybody? Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you okay. very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I popped It's a pleasure. Wire. Nah, you'll talk to him because you'll have yeah. to apologize to him. Hey, well, right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, Mr. Cameraman. You're, you're, you're going to have to talk to him like go over personally. I ladies know. and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. 
The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicky is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicky is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW.
Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act One Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act One will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act One Entertainment.net for a free, no obligation price quote or call 631 758 3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back. We're back. We're back, and this is Russell Craig. I gotta make sure it's Craig, right? I wanna make sure I say it right, because the letters I get. Yeah. It's this last Thursday of the month of Thursdays. You too can be a host here if you like. Uh, you just have to be in the entertainment field, and you have to, yeah, sobriety tests and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, so Mr. Russell is going to do some songs right now, and then we have a lovely guest, which you'll talk about. So I'm gonna hand this. Hand the baton over. Thank you. How about it for Dennis, everybody, our host, gracious host. Well, I'm going to do a special song, if I can, right here. It's uh, one of the songs that uh, my mom always tells me that I need to sing. So, of course, mom, sing it for you and sing it for everybody out there. Right, come on, you can sing along with me. Right it's a beautiful song. Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. We both know that it's wrong, but it's much too strong to let it go now. At the same cafe, 6 30. You know, you know, she'll be there. Holding hands, making all kinds of plans. While the two arms plays our favorite song. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. Oh yes, we both know that it's wrong, but it's much too strong to let it go now. to be extra careful that we don't build our hopes up too high she's got her own obligations and so so do I man Mrs. Mrs. Jones Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We both know that it's wrong, but it's much too strong to let it go now. Well, it's time for us to be leaving Cause it hurts so much, hurts so much inside Now she'll go her way, and I'll go mine But tomorrow, 
we'll meet same place, same time. Man, Mrs. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. We got a thing, baby. Uh -huh. It's all about love. It's all about love. It's all Thank you so much. Dennis, did you like that one, huh? <laughs> well, right now, what I'm going to do is, can I call up uh, my, my dear friend, uh, Miss Jojo? I'm going to get her to sing a little something for us right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put those hands together. If you can, out there and back here, make some noise. Come on. <laughs> Jojo, you can do that. That's so great. All right, come on. We're going to catch you up here right now. Oh, yes. Come on, we need everybody to clap those hands for us. You hear me? Check. Check, check. Come on. Help me out now. Let's Come cramp that up a little bit for you. We got to hear that music. Come on. Number seven. right here would that be okay yeah that would be great all right so she's got a fabulous song that uh, she sang a few times and we're getting all ready all right we're all set for that here we go
people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's within. And I've been there before. That life's a bore, so full of the superficial. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, ain't got you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, some just want everything. Everything means nothing if I ain't. Some people search for a fountain. Some people search for it. The promise is forever young. Some people need three dozen roses. And that's the only way to prove you love them. And in a world on a silver platter. Jojo, Thank you, Russell. Thank you. It's unbelievable, right? We finish this up. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and we're in Concord, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with. 
to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind, and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it, and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Dad, where do babies come from? Uh, oh, well, there's a, uh, th th there's Dad's big, shiny rocket ship. That's right, it's filled with babies. Baby.
gentlemen that was uh, Logan's room and unfortunately we ran out of time but we'll be back next week and hopefully we can have them back again when we can do a little better job on the sound and stuff because we're having some technical difficulty with this mics and stuff so with that ladies and gentlemen we bid you adieu Russell it's been great thank you everybody for coming down thank you Dennis for having Logan's room and coach Jojo yes and uh, Tommy and Janine and, and uh, the other guy, which I don't forget his name already, but I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, and the comedian? That's right. Buddy Rizzuti. Okay. And uh, Jojo. Good night, everybody.